Hey y'all, welcome back to Island Vibe Cooking. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make the most delicious, flaky, veggie packed vegan pot pie in less than one hour. If you guys want to see how it's done, be sure to keep on watching. And also, if you are new here on Island Vibe Cooking, please take the time to subscribe. I do upload videos here every day. And also, thumbs up the video if you find it helpful. Without further ado, let's make it. All right, now we're going to start by making our pie crust. I am using plain flour and then I'll be adding a little bit of salt in there. Once you add your salt, get a fork and start mixing it. Now you can use a hand mixer to make this, a bread mixer or whatever to make it, but I I rather do it by hand, okay? Once I am done, I am going in with my vegetable shorten. Just add that in there and mash it down with the flour. Now I am going to use my hand to mix the rest of the butter with the flour. And make sure your hands are clean when you're doing this part because this is this is the part. The hands need to be clean. Little by little, I'll be adding my water. I am using cold water. Okay, just add that in there little by little. And I believe I added about seven to eight tablespoons of water, but do not add it all at once. Just add it little by little until you form a dough. Once your dough is nice and ready, just like so, I am going to put it on my countertop, make sure it's nice and clean. I am going to sprinkle some flour all over there, and then I'll be adding my dough on there. Because I will be making two crusts, the top one and the bottom, so I am going to cut this dough in half to save the rest for later. So now we're going to make the bottom of the the crust okay Alright, once your dough is large enough, we're just going to roll it out with the rolling pin, that is. And then we're just going to place it on top of the baking dish that we're going to bake it in. Now I am just going to roll out the dough and place it on top of the baking dish. Once you are done placing it and it's sitting right, make sure you flatten the dough down with your hand so we don't have any air bubbles under there. So make sure you press it down to get rid of all those little air bubbles that can cause the dough to rise up when it's baking, okay? Now I am just going to cut the excess dough on the outside of it because we don't need it. Just get rid of it. Just cut it off and 
yeah that's what I'm doing right now once you're done I am going to use both of my hands to make sure I smooth out the, the edges a little bit more and then we're going to make our nice little design on top of it now if you don't feel like doing it it's totally optional you do you don't really have to do it but it makes the pie looks you know very nice and pretty so that's what I am doing now Now to form the little design, this is how I'm doing it. Just watch how I'm doing it. It's pretty self-explanatory. Once you actually see how I'm doing it, I can't really explain it. So I am just going to do it all around the dough, just like so. It's gonna make it look so nice and pretty. This is a little time consuming, but once you get the hang of it, you'll just fly through it, okay? I, I'm just giving you guys a little close up of how I actually do it. And you see how I'm pressing, make sure I do not have any air bubbles on my pie crust, okay? Once I am done, I am using a fork to poke some holes on there. That will also prevent the dough from rising up and from having any bubbles on there once you're done baking it. So just poke some holes on there. Now it's time for me to make the filling. I am adding one tablespoon of coconut oil in this skillet right here. Then I'll be adding about a quarter teaspoon of minced garlic. Make sure you cook it until it's nice and golden brown. And then we'll be adding our onions, okay? Now I am going to add my onions. I cut them pretty small because I just love cutting my vegetables small. Not that I don't like vegetables, but I like to cut them small so I don't feel like I'm eating them. So just cut them nice and small, just like so. Once it's nice and translucent, we're going to add our cornstarch. Once you're done adding your cornstarch in, you're going to cook it for about 30 seconds and then we're going to move on to the next step, okay? Once that is nice and fried, we're going to add some vegetable broth in there. Not chicken broth, vegetable broth. Just add that in there, mix it all up together. And then I'll be adding it little by little just to make sure I know exactly how much I'm adding in there, okay? And the cornstarch is what's gonna make our gravy, our filling nice and thick, so just make sure you add cornstarch for sure you just add that in there now i am going to add the rest of my veggies i am adding celery carrots and peas you can add other things like corns if you want i've seen some people do it but i didn't add any other veggies besides those three 
just add that in there mix it up all up together my potatoes I microwaved them for two minutes and then I add them in here now to make it nice and creamy I am going in with some almond milk unsweetened almond milk just add that in there and mix it all up together okay Now we're going to season it. I am going to add a little bit of ground black pepper. I'll be adding some rosemary. You can also add some bay leaf in there. I didn't have any, so I didn't add any. And then I'll be adding some thyme. And of course, I have to add a little bit of salt. Mix that all up together. Make sure it's nicely mixed. And we're going to let this simmer on medium low for about five to seven minutes, okay? You see how it's getting thicker and thicker? We want that thickness in the gravy. I'm not sure, is this like a, a soup or is it a pastry? Let me know down below. What? So I guess it's a pie, but is, is it a pie? with is it what category does it fit in a pastry or a soup i'm not sure so now moving on guys it's nice and done we're going to add it in the pie crust just like so just add it in here Once it start baking, you guys, it's going to be nice and thicker. So just, you know, just wait for it until it's done. You're going to, you're going to see how good this come out once it's done, okay? Now my my potatoes are not cooked. They're like halfway, but I am going this is it. You see how nice it looks, very nice and colorful. We're going to bake it on 375 for 40 minutes. Once it is done, it should be nice and thick and gooey and, you know. But now, this is the leftover dough that I didn't add in there. I am going to cover it with that. Just roll it out. Make sure it's nice and large so you can fit the top of it. And then we're just going to cover it and do the same thing over. Basically, I sh I didn't really have to do the design before, but I did. It doesn't really matter now that you might learn it and understand it even more. But I am going to do it again because I forgot. <laughs> so I have to do it again on this part right here. Basically, you're just going to see me do it again. But this part is critical. Make sure you seal your dough really good so it doesn't pop open while it's baking because you do not want that <laughs> so make sure it's nice and sealed so it doesn't open while it's baking and of course like i said i am going to do the same design again because i forgot i i didn't really have to do it but it's okay i don't mind just gonna do it again Now once it's done, this is how it looks nice and tight. Now another thing that I am going to do is use a fork to poke some holes again because as this dough baking, it's gonna start rising up a little bit. You do not want that. So poke some holes in there, make sure they're nice and wide so you can have some type of vent coming. All the steam can come out without the dough pop open so this is it i am going to bake it on 375 like i said for 40 minutes and once it is come out you should have a nice 
flaky dough with some ooey gooey creamy gravy inside with full of vegetable this is it once it is done and also you can use some almond milk to do like a egg wash on top I didn't really do it but you can this is it you guys you see you see the inside this is how it comes out <laughs> and trust me when I tell you I do not eat vegan food like that but it was it was really good it was good I love how the dough came out it was nice and flaky and the inside was so earthy it has a lots of vegetable my potatoes they were nice and cooked it wasn't like overcooked it wasn't undercooked it was just perfectly cooked so make sure you microwave it for about two minutes before you add it in there but this is it I truly hope you guys enjoy it be sure to give the video a thumbs up for me let's get this video to 300 likes guys I'm not asking for more only 300 likes so please do it for me and subscribe if you are new here do not forget to do that because you want to see more recipes right so subscribe thank you for watching i'll see you guys very soon in a different video bye